Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech, and good morning. Look at that sun rising up over the mountain over there. It is a beautiful day, and I've got uh, a tree that I'm excited to chop down. I'm hoping it doesn't take too much longer, but I have a feeling it's going to take a lot longer. <laughs> I mean, in the real world, it takes decades to grow one of these trees. Like, to the size that we found over in the... Yeah. Yeah, it takes a very, very long time. But, you know, it's a game. And, you know, games are slow. I mean, fast. I mean, games... Forget it. Games. Games. Games are cool. I like games. Games are fun. So, I did a little bit of work overnight. I actually did a bunch of unlocking. Just the, just the kind of the stuff where you just have to build a thing, you know? So I went through and I got, actually mostly it was in military engineering, I opened up palisades and round palisades and fortifications. and They're all just build a thing, build another thing. And so I did all that. I'm not even sure that we're going to need any of that, but still. I want to do mechanical mills today. This is going to be important for increasing the effectiveness of our ores that we gather and oh it looks like this is where you open up propellers as well that's cool what else is in here all these are molds um but this is where the grindstone is opened up and i only have the mechanical ore crusher in here i don't have the manual ore crusher i think i also if we have time i want to actually get some of the automated tools for making the farm better like like the the auto the the farm the farm things <sighs> where is all the farm things is that under strings attached that's okay yeah i've unlocked this it didn't make me make them but uh i want to use the plow and the cedar and the harvester and get those all set up even if it's just something i drag around behind me instead of completely automate it'll just speed up this whole process of planting and all that so let's get that going i'm a little nervous it's going to chop down my tree though if i get too close you know what i hate to say it but i've got a tree there and i've got a tree over there and this is going to really get in my way so okay well, it gave me four sticks hang on Gave me four sticks. Oak seeds. Oh, well, perfect. Well, that I can plant three more of these. To wait, but let's go plant some oaks. Where am I gonna? <laughs> I also realized I don't have an easy way except through my house to kind of go from one side to the mm -hmm. other here. So, um, yeah, just go through the house. I'm gonna probably take out a piece of the fence. Maybe try and make a gate or something. I need a tool. <laughs> I, tur I turned my thing upside down because I like it up here. I just think it's cool. All right, let's plant one right here. And let's plant one right here. Kind of like two like in front of my house kind of thing. I'm not good with words today. I don't know why. Here, let's let's put another one here. Yeah, kind of looks natural, right? I don't know, maybe. And then let's put this hoe away, hopefully for the last time. Let us make, oh, by the way, thank you very much to this comment. When you open up the crafting inventory, you can hit tab and it will go straight into the search bar. So now I can type in, like, plow. So I need 60 metal parts. Where am I? That's right. I put metal parts up here. I've got 42. Right. Oh, yeah. I did a bunch of rearranging. And up on the shelf, I'm keeping my, my parts. And then over here, I've got all my metals. And upstairs... I opened things up a lot because it was just, it was getting too much of a pain to kind of walk around up here. So, kind of move things around and I like it. I like it. 
And then, is it called a cedar? Yeah. Now, let's grab some wheels and catch blocks. Let's do... Uh, just want to kind of get something basic set up. It doesn't need to be anything fantastic. There. It's kind of a guess and check thing. Anyways, if I were to put my cedar, unless they've fixed this, if I were to... There we go. If I were to put my cedar, like, right here, it would end up destroying the crops as they're being planted. So you got to get it at least a couple of blocks back. And, of course, the mount points for these two are dramatically different. So that that. There we go. Why not? That looks okay, right? We don't need this anymore. It's pretty rudimentary, but it should work. So if I just pull on this, it's going to plow in front, and then if I had seeds in there, it would, you know, drop the seeds. So let's get this way back in the corner. And this is this is a one-time thing, guys. We're going to come up with something a whole lot better than this. I say one time, and it's probably like a 30-time thing because I'm going to be too busy doing other stuffs. But I'm going to make a ton of flax seeds and a ton of wheat is it getting dark again oh that's right so the, in this spot it always throws me so the sun comes up over there and it's nice and bright and then as it goes it kind of does this arc like this because we're fairly close to the polar region remember so like quick jump up that way so it's kind of it goes over there anyway but it, it so it's nice and bright and then it goes behind this right here and then it'll get brighter again once it gets up to there and then it just kind of follows the mountain it's weird flax seeds plant plant away is it working yay Kind of working. Yeah, okay. It's kind of working. Okay, how many do I have left? Oh, not too many. So actually, if I lift this up, I could probably plant in the kind of the in between spots a little bit. See, it'll fi it'll find spots in there to to plant. See, look, see, see, it's finding little spots in there. It's quick. It's simple. It really speeds up the planting process. I mean, over doing it by hand. And I just realized I want some cabbage as well. Not quite as much, but. I want some. You know what? Let's use up what I got. And I'm just going to do a little bit of plowing by hand here. Because i got to be careful not to, you know, rip up my seeds that I already planted. Okay, here? Yeah. There we go. Now they're all planted. So we'll have a nice little harvest in a day or so. Let's start working on this windmill. So the first question is, do I want to actually have it attached to my house somewhere? I think I do, actually. I think I kind of want to use this spot right here. 
and I'm going to set up my windmill. I'm going to start up there. Yeah. One of the things about windmills is the higher you get, the more power you get out of the windmill. So if I make some stairs up to that spot and then connect like up there, I'm going to get a lot more power. I think I might want to retrofit my house a little bit. Some, A few people, I think, at least one person in one of the comments, and I don't remember where, um, said that I should actually extend the first floor out over this little porch area. I thought that was a really good idea. And that would give me a little bit more room up here to have, like, stairs and then have it up on that floor there. So I'm going to need to take down that part of the roof and those walls. And that means taking down all of my skulls. Yeah, good. My skulls fall. And then I can just pick them up off the ground and then I don't have to wait through the whole, like, slow pickup process. <laughs> I'm going to find skulls everywhere after this. And I feel like just to make it look a little bit more structurally sound, I'm going to put in, like, timbers on the corners. <laughs> As if it's holding it up, but it's not. Oh, look who found me. Where are you going, dude? Um, hey, why didn't that fire? There we go. <laughs> okay, I got my groove back. Here, we'll do it like this. Why does this bring me so much joy? Yeah, there we go. So this is where I'm going to be building all of my uh, windmill stuff. It's kind of up here. There we go. They really did a good job of improving how you place things. I know some people have been having an issue with it. Personally, I find it a lot easier to place stuff. You know, probably the biggest advantage of having this windmill is not having to do this anymore. I wonder if that's why they made crafting such a pain is so that you have more reason to automate things. That would make a lot of sense, and I would actually really like that. I just realized I didn't actually start this. We need to start doing this. I need to obtain a whole bunch of things. Like, a lot of things. Create a building at least five blocks tall. On a flat outside wall, build a mechanical sawmill. That's one, two... Three. Yeah, so we're going to need to go higher. I kind of figured I'd probably need to go higher, but I wanted to start things here. I hear you. Where are you? Did you hear that? I heard that. Hang on. I'm going to try something. Ha <laughs> ha. There he is. Oh, is it going to let me get away with this? I don't think it's going to. I'm going to have to go down there. Dang it. Okay, we're going to go this way. Huh. I think I confused him. These guys are easily confused. Ha <laughs> ha. It's your own fault. Let's put in another one of these sloped supports. Of 
Cuz I kind of want to build like I want to I want to make this intentionally look a little jankety and kind of build off the side and up. So if I make the walls like this, if I go wall Yeah. Yeah, why not? And then up here, I'm going to put some floors. And I'm going to probably need some more parts. Hey, my wheat's starting to grow. But this is where I'm actually going to put the windmill. It's way up here. Do you know what I'm thinking? I think I'm going to put it here. Yeah, but now here's where we can put our mechanical joint up. See, but that makes it so I don't have a place I can put my grist mill. Unless I put a T here. Do they not have those T's anymore? And there's the shafts, which are just like pass-throughs, basically. Maybe they're going to give me more in a second. I don't know. I'm going to end up wasting a lot of linseed oil on this, no matter what I do. Okay, fine. Oh, and now it wants me to place three framed... Oh, my goodness. Okay. See, the problem is, is it's teaching me how to play the game. And I already know how to play the game. <laughs> That's okay. This thing will be nice and high. Look at that. I need a way to get up there. This is going to be great. Okay. Framed vertical mechanical joint down. Yeah, okay. I know what it wants. Oh. Okay. That was scary. I legitimately jumped with that. Okay, I mean, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I did. I just wasn't expecting it at that exact moment. Um, we're going to do this a little lower than the... Yeah, maybe even put in a little more structure down here. So maybe, yeah, I should be able to get away with this, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's do this. I should be able to attach that there, right? Yeah. Love it. Oh my goodness. If I mentioned how insane I am, it wants round timber and other timber. Probably some planks, too. Oh, structural load critical. I like that they did that. Okay. What can I put underneath this that will keep this a little less... Or make this a little more stable? Maybe I should put in some foundations here. Why can't I put a foundation there? Put a foundation there. But, but, but that's a problem. Those are sloped supports. Am I putting in, oh man, I am putting in sloped supports. I can't put things in here because of the fence. Let's get rid of the fence. Okay. I did say I was going to remove some fences. There we go. Okay, so this one's structural load light because it's buried in the ground. Heavy. 
Okay. Um, these are useless, so I'm going to get rid of these. I don't know if that's helpful or not. Let's go see. Let's go see if I've turned criticals into heavies or something. Ooh, these became light. Excellent. Heavy, light, okay. We are in good shape. Ugh. I have ropes, I have blades. I I just used all of my timber. Okay, there we go. I don't know if it's... Oh, I need cloth as well as windmill blades. <sighs> oh, and guess who's short a whole bunch of flax? It's me. Okay, I guess it's time to go buy some stuff. Matilda, I need to buy some things. I need either, I need like flax or I need, hang on, grab some money. Um, I would love to just have cloth. Nope. Linen, nope. Wait. <laughs> it's not that, th that's the, yeah, okay. Shut up. Okay, ten pieces of cloth. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah, I'll totally take that. Oh, come on. Two minutes. Two minute. Matilda, I don't want to wait two minutes. Will you buy anything from me? I could sell you some food. You know what? You're probably hungry. You can you can have some of my food. Ugh. Shh, don't tell anybody this is where I hide my money. I'm bored. Come on, 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 come on. Any second, any second, any second, any second. Yeah. Up the jankity tower, across the roof, around, and go. Beautiful. Tool heads unlock. Craft a timber tool head for a sawmill. Yes. Another one? I hear him. Did... He is in my house. Oh my gosh. Don't oh gosh. <laughs> no, he's on my roof. He's on my roof. What is he doing on my roof? Oh! You know what? Okay, gotta admit, that was a bit of an epic battle on the roof. I will add your skull to my collection. I gotta start closing my door. Your fault, not mine. Make a thing! It's kind of got a beat to it, you know? No, actually, I don't need to go all the way up there. I can do it from down here. Which is kind of my whole point. So, tool head, logs. Do, 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 do. Excellent. That was so much better at making timbers. I love it. I love it. Or tool head for stamp mill. Ugh. Stone tool head for stamp mill. What the heck is a stamp mill? What is a stamp mill? Mechanical stamp mill. Provided with a connection to mechanical power and an appropriate tool head, the mechanical stamp mill will smash ore and stone, producing ore dust or small stones, respectively. Oh, this process is both faster and more efficient than other methods. What? Is that part of my mod? So that's different than the ore crusher, which is part of the windmill powered ore crusher mod. Wait a minute, is this a vanilla thing now? Also, I said I was going to close the doors, and then I'm not for some reason. Okay, well, I may have to install a stamp mill. 
We'll get to that later. So I actually don't need the ore crusher mod anymore. I'm gonna go process so much wood. I want planks. Okay, okay, okay. Do that. Make all those into planks. That that's that's the wrong that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Did I did I not just hang on. Oh. Ah, don't do that. Okay. Make planks. Yeah. 60. Beautiful. I like the new sounds. It actually sounds like it's doing something specific. You know? Like like it's actually processing wood. Maybe cutting it. It's cool. I like it. I actually really like how jankity and crazy that looks. I don't know why. I'm a little crazy that way. The next thing we need to do is get in those other two things. The the grist mill so that I can start processing uh, linseed oil a little better. And wheat as well. I think that's probably going to have to be a priority. That does mean a little bit of adjustment on the way that I've got things laid out. Because right now it goes back, down, and back. And I either need... I just, they've got to have a T in here somewhere. Splits. That's what they... I didn't have access to splits initially. So if I pull this out right now, this whole thing is going to come falling down. So what can I do to make sure it doesn't come falling down? I could put up some more structure somewhere. Maybe... You know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so light, heavy, light. <laughs> okay. Why is the... why? Okay, this one's embedded in the ground. That makes sense. That's heavy, and the next one's... Okay, whatever. It's taking some load off the top. So that that's a good thing. Hopefully... The structural integrity in this game is, in general, pretty good. In specifics, awful. Like, it can, like, just weird things can happen. Alright. Put that up. Another one. Let's get rid of this. I don't need this one anymore anyway. Oh, yeah finish that off. Why not? No, no, no. I need... No, I'm going to take that out. T Bye. There we go. Something like that should make it so that I can... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm terrified that I'm going to take this out and the whole thing is going to come crumbling down. And the sun is setting. Let me go sleep through the night and then we're going to do it. And... Hopefully, it'll look amazing. The sun is up. Now we can see very clearly when this whole thing comes down. Oh boy. Here it goes. Oh. This isn't, this isn't going to work as well as I wanted. I'm going to I'm gonna have to rearrange some stuff in here if I do this, because that'll end up with my grist mill sitting here. Hmm. So, like, this... We'll get rid of this. And that. That. Okay. And then I need my grist mill to be here. And then we're going to do a vertical. There we go. This joint. So that'll be there. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that should be right. Mm. 
I need a millstone and a round tim two round timbers and a linseed oil. I do not have a linseed oil. Matilda! Matilda! Oh, hey, neat. No, don't run away. You're going to drown. You don't want to be in there. You don't want to be underwater. You're a deer. Ugh. All right. I need either flax or linseed oil. <laughs> Five jars of linseed oil. There you go. I'll just take that. Two minutes. Uh, what am I supposed to do for two minutes? Did you enjoy your meal, Matilda? Matilda, do you enjoy your... Matilda. Where are your eyes? There they are. You, you, you got... You, you're kind of misshapen, aren't you? Just, just a little bit misshapen. How you, how you doing, Matilda? How's it, how's, it, how's it going today? What do you stare at all day? Like, what, what, what is out there that you find interesting? Is it that mountain out there? Because you seem bored. I mean, to me, I would be bored sitting here all day just hoping, hoping that somebody comes by to trade with you. Oh. Hey, this guy might be coming by to trade with you. Dude. Dude, have you met Matilda? Oh, yeah, here, here he comes. He's going to trade something with you. Right? <laughs> Highly doubt it. Matilda's mine. You can't have her. Ow. Okay, maybe you can have her. There we go. There you go. Did you see how I fought for your honor? Yeah. Yeah, that's just... It's because I'm an honorable guy. This guy is not. He's kind of a jerk. Most of the guys around here are jerks. You know? Like, like I'll treat you nice. This guy? No, he wouldn't. He'd just, like, try and beat you over the head with a club or something, I'm sure. Hey, it's done. Yay. No. It's my skull. Oh, well. Okay. That should be everything I need. Let's make this happen. All right, now, now I need a tool head. Now I need a tool head. I also need to remember to close my doors. So I'll take one of those and one of those. All right, and while I've been doing all of this, guess what grew? So now I could set up an automated harvester, but I think we'll do that in the future. This goes pretty quick by hand, so I think we'll be okay. Excellent. Get out of the way. Alright, let's go process some stuff. I'm excited. Okay, let's start with coarse, and I'm going to make some wheat. I mean, some flour. I think I'm going to go ahead and let it do four sacks of flour. And then we can make a fair amount of wheat seeds. And I'm going to throw... Oh, not flax straws. We need to make flax seeds. Hmm... I'm still a little bit light on flax, so I think I might go manually plant some of these and use the partial bags. What do you think? But I can still automate this. Oh man, and you know what? This episode's just about done, isn't it? I mean, I think it's actually running long. So I'll tell you what, there's nothing more that I'm going to be doing today that's super exciting. Next episode, we are definitely going to be installing a stamp mill. 
which I looked up, by the way, and it is indeed a vanilla version of... Okay, <laughs> sorry. Suddenly realized I might be backing into a barbarian there. It is a vanilla version of the um, ore crusher, so we can get extra ores out of it, which would be really cool, wouldn't it? I think it'd be really cool, and we're going to play with it, but not until next episode. So, how about I see you next time on Epic Tech? Mm -hmm.